When it comes to emergencies, being prepared is like planning for a camping trip. Today, we're going to talk about creating three essential emergency kits. One for your home, a grab-and-go bag, and one for your vehicle. Remember, you'll need enough supplies to last about three days. But here's the key. Your kits should be as unique as your family. Let's start with your home emergency kit. Think about what you'd need if you couldn't leave your house for a few days. Non-perishable food, water, medications, batteries, a list of important contacts and phone numbers, and a first aid kit are must-haves. Now for your grab-and-go emergency bag. This should be a backpack or duffel bag that's easy to carry. Include clothing, important documents, and phone chargers. Your vehicle emergency kit is your lifeline on the road. Include things like a flashlight, booster cables, non-perishable snacks, water, blankets, and emergency flares. Remember, these kits aren't one size fits all. Personalize them based on your family's specific needs. For seniors or those with special needs, consider extra medications, spare assistive devices, and a list of important medical information. Got kids? Pack some games or activities to keep them occupied. If you have pets, remember food, water, medication, leashes, and other items. Farmers, don't forget about your livestock and the required procedures and provisions. Don't forget to check and update your kits regularly. Being prepared isn't about being scared, it's about being ready. So start packing your kits today and know you're set for whatever comes up. Be aware, be prepared. Visit the Elgin County Emergency Management website for more information, detailed checklists, and resources.